Google Translate is a function inside of Google Sheets, and you can say that you wanted to translate this to a given language, and then it will give you that, and look how it does. It does pretty well to go from this to this one at the end. It's not perfect, but it's pretty decent as to get an idea of what is in your file. So we're going to go through in this video how to use this function, also the detect language function to save you a step, and then even how to combine it to create your own custom function so you can use it a lot quicker and easier. My name is David and I have tons of videos on Excel, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Power BI, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to note that I am using an XSX file, an Excel file, and Google Sheets is able to auto convert it into a Google Sheets file for the time being, but then keep it as an XLSX file. As long as you store this in Google Drive and then open it in Google Sheets, then this will be doable. Then we're going to show you later on how Excel is able to detect that as well. So the function is Google Translate and I have text, source language and target language. So I'm going to say the text is going to be this. I'm going to press a comma and the source language is this and the output is this one French. So that's going to translate that and I can drag this down as I want to like that. It is one offset by what I had before and I can change this to various different things. So for example, if I was to say an L and it's going to do it in Dutch instead, and it's going to work pretty well. So that is how you can do it with this, but you can go a little bit further without saying what the original language is equals Google Translate. And then the text is going to be this. And then I'm going to say detect language of this. Close my brackets, only one input for that function. And then comma my target language. So all I need is my input cell and my target language now. And that will work pretty well. But if you go below, then it's going to give you this error. So we're going to fix that up by saying equals if error. If error is a great, really, really simple function that will do absolutely nothing unless there's an error. And if there is an error, then I can press a comma and speech marks, speech marks for just empty. And now I can drag it down like this. Perfect. So if you are in Google Sheets, if you click on a function that is fairly complex, it will suggest this, add a new function or use the shortcut. So if I click that, I get to this. I can get to the same thing by going to the data menu and choosing name functions and then add new function. So I have a whole video about this if you want to learn more because these are really, really useful and you can do it in Google Sheets or Excel and I have two videos, one on each. So I can say here function name is going to be translate to French, no spaces allowed, just underscores and it is uppercase. This is optional so I'm going to leave that blank and this is just going to be text. This is just my placeholder here. I just need one actually for this. And then here I'm going to go into my formula. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. You could type it out, but this is just easier. And then here I'm going to replace B5 with text. And here I'm going to replace B5 again with text. And here I'm going to replace A6 with FR because that is the let two letter code that you need to translate to French. By the way, the full codes are here in this sheet. So yeah, if you want to get to it, there is also a website with all of these I'll link to in the description. So I'm going to press next and then this is all optional. So I'm just going to press create and now I have this function. So what does it allow me to do? It allows me to do equals translate to French. Note that it says name functions. I can click on that or press tab and then I can choose absolutely anything close my brackets and it does so pretty quickly. And note that if there is a blank cell, then it still won't give me an error as required. So here I have some other text. So I can do equals translate to text tab and then this, and I can copy that here. Then I can copy that here. And if I want to, I can just drag them down. And even if there's blanks, it will still work. No problem at all. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but it's pretty decent. Note that this is English and Khmer Cambodian language for the same thing. That's why it's pretty similar. Uh, great. Uh, by the way, some other new features about this is that you can also import a function. So if you have one saved on a spreadsheet and you want to get it into this one, you can import it. Super, super easy to do. So lastly, let's look at what the Excel output is. 
So here I'm in Excel. Uh, as you can see, the uh, regular Google Translate with the text language has worked pretty well because Google has a way of just converting it so that it gives you a static value. It can't be refreshed, but this is okay as is. Um, and we can copy and paste as values and then it'll be fine. However, the name ones come out to the ones where I use translate to French and I made my own. And that is because Google tries to convert the function, the name function into an Excel Lambda, uh, which works in theory if you have the newest version of Excel, but because the underlying functions don't exist in Excel, Google Translate and Detect Language, it is not able to translate it. So therefore it doesn't work. But if you just use the original one that I did, then it will work with Excel as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. My name is Dave and I have tons of videos on Google Sheets, Excel, Power BI, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So check out my other videos if you found this useful. Thanks for watching.